Jo and welcome to today's video. Today we are journeying down to southern Italy. Okay, uh, the review is for When the Clock Chimes 2 by Adriana uh, Licio. This is 3.5 in the An Italian Village Mystery Series. Okay, I have not read any of the other books in this series. So, just know that going into this, this can be read as a standalone. This is a short read. This was only 69 pages long, okay? So just a little um, short one here. In this one, we have Zoe Zerbino, who is sort of downtrodden. She's been taken for granted by pretty much everyone. Um, she... Uh, goes to buy a new perfume to hopefully change her life and that's all going fine and dandy until she gets accused of murder okay so newfound confidence and things but would Zoe really be able to commit murder okay um, basically so we're in a nice little beautiful coastal village down in the southern Italy uh, called Maratea um, and here we have Jo Brando, who, um, she's, um, basically a part-time sleuth, okay, and, uh, when her sister, um, comes to her all upset because she sold a, the perfume to Zoe, which was the perfume that gave her more confidence and things, and so the sister feels that, like, it's her fault, that you know Zoe could be a murderer um, and she's caught up in all of this but um, Joe doesn't think that that's the case okay um, because as her granny used to say a wolf is always a wolf and a lamb is always a lamb okay so Joe is sure that Zoe is the gentlest of lambs. That's, you know, that's not changed. And so she decides to find out who the real murderer is, okay? So, um, yeah, we have our amateur sleuth who's going around and trying to find out what actually happened. Um, so here she finds out uh, this truly heartless plan that was put into action as Maratea's clock struck. So there you go. This is for fans of cozy, cozy mysteries. Um, also, if you like books set in Italy, um, for those of you that don't know, I live in Rome in Italy and um, I absolutely love Southern Italy as well. Um, love, love, love Calabria. Um, what all of the South really, the Amalfi Coast and everything, just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, can't wait to go back down there. Um, and so I like to find books as well, which are set in Italy and um, in particular, Southern Italy. Uh, one of my favorite places uh, to go to. So this one was nice. It was nice. It wasn't anything wow. Um, I ended up giving this one a three star. Um, it was you know, a cute little quick read. If you're looking for a short read um, that's not going to take you too long to get through, then you might want to check this out. It has, I wouldn't be against reading other books in the series now. Oh, sorry, 